Well, this video I wanted to make for a long time. Every time you start a new build, one of the choices you have to make is uh, what size of tubing you're taking. Half an inch or about 12 millimeters inside diameter or a smaller tube, uh, which is 3 eighths, about 10 millimeters inside. And it was general belief that bigger tubing is better, but uh, it's more and more reports uh, showing up in water cooling communities that uh, performances gains for the bigger tubing is really negligible so it uh, doesn't really matter so which make uh, choice even more tough decision to make so I decided to spill some information on you and hopefully it will help to make a decision when you choose a tubing size so what I did uh, I I cut two pieces of this red tube one feet each. I'll try to bend it on this ruler and see uh, when it starts collapsing. So if we get any benefit of smaller, uh, tighter turns with with a with a smaller tube or not. Uh, also, I would like to mention that uh, length of the tube for making connection plays difference too. This one fit tubing and if I just try to touch those inlets outlets of the supreme block it's already too tight and you can see the tube start collapsing so walls collapse so if it collapses completely you're screwed because you have no flow going through your loop and uh, your components will start overheating and possibly fail uh, so I have a piece of tube here which is a bit longer just leftovers from my previous build you see it's about like 20% more and if I do the same connection no problem because I have more tube here so the, the diameter of bending diameter is bigger and it's no problem at all uh, another solution that you should keep in mind I personally hated it because I think it looks totally ugly uh, you can use those uh, anti-kink coils so you just put them around your tubing like that and uh, it's give you a little bit more protection. I prefer to plan my loop such way that uh, I don't need to use this ugly stuff because it looks totally retarded in my opinion. And uh, just use proper turns and use proper fittings. So your build look nice and uh, hopefully professional. So let's see. have uh, my ruler here so I have a uh, half inch tubing here so basically we have like seven feet like no problem whatsoever lots of space and six so we get uh, start getting tighter but I don't think no it's perfectly fine so if I go five that that's when my wall start collapsing a little bit and I need to keep it straight so so five is a first initial collapse happening I think it's safe I would I would still do it possibly maybe five and a half is better but five kind of acceptable but if I go any further yeah that's my tube already collapsed that's that's already too dangerous four done we screwed all right so with uh, this length I would say five is possibly the tightest I can go even better 5.5 5. that's 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 good for sure that will work no danger here all right okay so let's see what's going on with uh, three eighths six fine five yeah no problem I don't think there any bend here and if we go if you go four and a half yeah that that starts collapsing of the wall four no it's collapsed so four and a half maybe maybe five 
why it's better. So difference very minimal, half an inch, maybe one inch between those two tubings, right? So use this or use that. It's very close. Performance is close. Uh, and uh, how tight you can bend it, it's close too. Interesting. So what we have here, the performance of both sizes is very close. I did set up with a half inch tubing and 3 eighths. I don't really see any difference in temperatures for both overclocked and not overclocked setup. So difference is neg negligible. Turns very close which makes me to make the following conclusion about the tubing the first thing is looks if you like thicker tubing and it looks better for your setup you have big case or just like it that's your choice right Cena one or like this again that's your choice I like Cena tubing here, so that's why I went this route. Also, you need to keep in mind that because of the thicker wall on a larger tube, it's a bit more difficult to collapse it. You need more force to collapse it than, than the Cena tube. So here you can bend it a little bit and, and expect this wouldn't bend further. With this type of tube, you should be more careful, right? Because start bending, it may bend eventually. So be more careful. Another thing is the cost. If you use a lot of fittings, or you have to, you have to essentially, um, you can save a bunch with a small tubing. The difference between this angle fitting and this angle fitting is about dollar and a half in our store for the just straight compression fitting it's almost a buck for the half inch or three eighths and I'm sure in your country the proportion will be similar so this is like twelve dollars eleven dollars Something like that, right? So, because you have a bunch of those, you save on tubing itself, you save on fittings. So, 3 8 could be much more cost effective. And if it's the factor for you, and you don't care about the big size, that's the way to go, right? If you like bigger tubing, that's your choice. There are no disadvantage of using it either, except the costing factor. That's what I uh, basically have to say here. Make your call, make your choice, and have fun with water cooling.